Hi, I'm Lexa Von Tobel, the founder and CEO of LearnVest.com, the leading site for women and their money. Today I'm with Lauren from Daily Candy, and we're going to actually go through what should we all carry in our wallet. When I went through Lauren's wallet, I noticed that she was carrying about $45 in cash. This is exactly appropriate. Don't carry a lot of cash in your wallet. I recommend less than $80, but don't carry zero either. And if you go to the ATM and take out a large sum of cash, make sure that you only put a little bit in your wallet and store the rest at home. The average person loses their wallet at least a few times throughout their lifetime. That's gonna be the first thing to go. Next up, we are going through our credit cards. And as I was looking through this, I noticed that Lauren has more than two credit cards in our wallet. She has way more than that. (laughs) (laughs) We want you to carry no more than two in your wallet and ideally from two different vendors. But for the others, we want them home. If you lose your wallet, you're going to want to be able to have access to spending in case of a major emergency. So I recommend you take the two that you don't use often, put them at home in your nightstand, um, and only walk around with the two that you really use. Gift cards are essentially cash, and they have no identifying information. So that if Lauren gave me all of her gift cards right now, which this is the stack that she's currently carrying in her wallet... (laughs) Um, I would be able to take them and use them. So I would recommend you take those out and leave them at home and only take a gift card when you actually plan to use that gift card that week. A lot of people, and I've been guilty of this myself, carry receipts around in their wallet. They have a lot of identifying information on them. They have the last four digits of your credit card and worse, they have your signature. That means that they could actually use your credit card and sign your name almost exactly as you sign it. So I don't want you to throw your receipts out, but I want you to take them and put them at home in a safe place where you put all your other stuff so that you can have them when you need them, but don't carry them around in your wallet. A lot of people, when they're going from work tonight, will take off their earrings and put on different earrings. Can you imagine anything worse than losing your wallet and your favorite earrings or your grandmother's earrings or some beautiful pearls? Not a good idea. So I recommend that you really diversify and take your earrings, put them in a different pocket in your purse so that, God forbid, you lose your wallet, you're not losing those as well. And lastly, something that was so interesting that you did that I was so proud of is Lauren has a picture of her when she's little. Is she not the most precious (laughs) child? It's just an interesting fact to know that if you have a baby photo or even a puppy photo, um, you have a much higher likelihood of someone returning your wallet. So that's all the tips that we have for you today. I hope you look through your own wallet and make sure that you're not a big offender. I'm going to go spend my <laughs> gift cards today. Probably a good idea. Thanks, Alexa. Awesome. <laughs>